So we're getting ready to milk our goat for the first time. And I made some tea and udder wash. And I got this recipe from Rose at Wholesome Roots. So I will link that up above. And um, I've just got it in a spray bottle here and I've got some paper towels. So I'm gonna head out to the barn and meet Adam. And I think he's actually gonna do the first milking. Hey, Levo. You ready to give us some milk? Hey, babies. Hello, babies. Oh, they're so adorable. So cute. Ready to give us some milk, Lilo? Got our food ready on the stand. Got his milking bucket. Seat. You ready? This has been it, but it's not big enough. I know. Yeah, we probably do. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm just filming. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch you do it the first time and then I'll do it another What's the plan? Okay, so this is the teat and udder wash so you can just spray this on her udders and then use a paper towel to wipe it off. Okay. And then um, when you get done milking, then you'll do the same thing. you just okay. clean her off. So probably, I mean, I thought we had a brush down here. There's no telling where it's at, is it? I didn't know we had a brush. I seen one. There was one here. And then... I thought I saw it out here. Like what kind of a brush? I don't know. I can't okay. remember. Um, yeah. So are we always going to use paper towels? Or? We don't have to, but I'll okay. just have to wash it each time. You know, yeah. we use it if we use okay. recyclable some, something. Come here. Come here. Rattle or food? <laughs> <laughs> Such a good girl. Polly said, hey, it's my turn. Uh-oh. Is she? Did you spray her? Oh. She's kicking. Has she been doing that? What's in there? It's um Castile soap, water, um tea tree oil and lavender oil. No, the whole thing. The udders and the teats. <clears throat> what does this do? Seven and cleaning? Um, I think that's it. Pretty much. I mean, those are... Okay. Those are antibacterial and um, 
you know, antimicrobial oil. So, it's to be warm. huh? It's just supposed to be warm. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It just, I just made it. So. I feel like that's good enough. I can get some rags. I just, I just have to wash them separate, like keep a bucket for rags. Probably really. Yeah, I'm trying to eat the chain to get out. some out first sure yeah So what's the plan? We'll leave that in this for a couple hours or something, and then I'll strain it after that. I was gonna put it in the freezer. Okay. You can also, um, you might know this already, but like when it when it gets to be where it seems dry yeah you can um you know bump bumper udders like the twins do and it'll let down more yeah. is it hard i haven't, I haven't got my milk muscles yet i know but we're gonna be sore for a little bit grab it like that with my whole hand it always hits here like the milk hits here and goes everywhere oh okay see yeah that's the most comfortable is you know grab it with my whole hand yeah I did learn you got to go like way up there yeah and then trap it and squeeze it down right yeah. and usually about a couple minutes into it it really starts coming out. You see that? Oh yeah, yeah. Like it's it gets easier as you do it. Right. So the reason he knows all this, because I said I I prefaced this video with this is the first time we've milked her, but this is the first time we've milked her for us to keep the milk. Um, but the twins were only nursing on one side, so we didn't want her to get sick. So we started, or Adam started. Uh, milking her out just on the one side that they weren't nursing on. Those chickens are so loud. Yeah. <laughs> so we're excited about goat milk for the first time from our goats. Oh, I haven't even tried it. Yay! She'll have plenty of time to do it. I guess uh, so. From here, we should take this into another jar, and strain it, and then put it in the freezer. No, I think we should go ahead and freeze it. I think we should go ahead and not freeze it, but yeah. chill it, okay. and then strain it after a while because. Why is that? But I just don't want it to taste goaty. For it to take, you know. Why is, why is straining it going to take too long? 
Like that's why people bring these out to the oh. barn with them, just so they can immediately put it in there. Instead of walking back to the house to do it, you know? This is this is always the hard one for me because it's pointing in the other direction. Yeah. They've probably gotten that one pretty dry yeah, anyway. <laughs> I wish they would alternate, or I wish they would each do one side. It's just crazy that milk doesn't come from a jug in the store. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so that's what we're used to. This is where milk has come from for thousands of years. Yeah. And they didn't have refrigeration. I'm sure a lot of people drink it hot. Yeah, but it would have a different taste, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, refrigeration is very new. Yeah. Thankfully, I mean, thankfully we have refrigeration. Right, yeah. People don't get nearly as sick from yeah. <laughs> food illnesses. I guess it's a little less than a quart. And it's pretty much one side. Yeah. yeah. So if we were, if we were uh, keeping the, the uh, little ones away from her at night, <coughs> We could potentially get a half a gallon in the mornings. Yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? Mm hmm Just take a while if you had several, several meal pudding. Yeah. Well, I guess you get faster at it yeah. the more you do it. It's with everything else. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> it's kind of wasteful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. You done? You want me to do some? Yeah. Why do you do that? Um, I guess just to sanitize from your. That's more of that, yeah. I guess to sanitize from your hands and, you know, that's going in baby's mouth now and stuff like that. She don't like that. Maybe if we had some softer rags or something. She's a good girl. Yeah, she does good. So she this is, yeah, so this is her like third or fourth kidding or something, isn't that what? Fourth, she's yeah. Five years old. Yeah, so yeah, she's five. We just got these girls, what, maybe January, and now it's yeah. almost May. Yep. And they were pregnant when we got them. I guess I could leave this down here. Yeah, I would leave all that down here. If you want to figure out some sort of setup, and I can, um, get some rags. and I can get some rags, yeah. And if we, if we can, if we can have a little bucket, like if you have a bucket to put right here, then we can just put dirty rags in there, and then I'll wash them all together, like you know, every few days or something. You're a good girl, Lilo. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Training. This is her first experience of milking, and yeah, she's looking bigger. And her, her she's finally getting some udders. Yeah, she. Um, we were kind of questioning whether she was pregnant or not because. She's had really small teats and um, no udders, no nothing back there. Um, but I think Probably she's. A month out, first of June or so. Yeah. So maybe they had just bred her before we got them. If they're five months gestation, I mean, that would be. That would be like now, though. <coughs> I don't know when we got her in January, though. I know the lady said that she was a month later breeding this one. <laughs>
Daddy just milked Lele. Like a lot. But. So we're gonna, well, that was pretty much out of one side. So we're gonna let that get <coughs> cold um, so it'll taste better. And then we're going We're gonna to, drink it? Yeah. That? Mm -hmm. Well then we'll strain it and then drink it, yeah. So that's exciting. You've been waiting for this day, <laughs> haven't you? And it's got Polly up here. <coughs> Practicing. <laughs> So tell us who this is. Applejack. Applejack. We're gonna keep him. Who who named him? Travis. <laughs> Travis has wanting, been wanting a goat, a boy goat named Applejack. I think that's adorable. Sweet, handsome goat. All right.